In this presentation, we will set up a QuickBooks Online free trial that we will then use to work through our practice problem for a not-for-profit organization. Let's get into it with Intuit. QuickBooks Online. Here we are on the Intuit website. Intuit being the owner of QuickBooks as well as other types of software. It's spelled I-N-T-U-I-T dot com. Intuit dot com. I-N-T-U-I-T dot com. Once here, you'll see some of the common softwares that they own, which is TurboTax, QuickBooks, and so on. We're looking here, of course, for QuickBooks. Once you go into QuickBooks, there's going to be different options for QuickBooks. The major two being a desktop version and an online version. We're going for the online version here, which is usually the one that they market more for. So that's probably the one that uh, you'll see. However, I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom. I like to go all the way down to the bottom of their page down here where they have the products. So here's the products and here's a little coupon thing that I'm turning off. And we're going to go into the products. Under the products, we're looking for the online. So then within online, so you can imagine like a tree here of, of your products. You got into it. We're going into the QuickBooks products. Then you've got the major two categories being desktop versus online. We're going into the online, which is probably the more marketed software uh, of the two and then we're going to go down to the items down below and within online you have the simple start you have the plus you have the advanced now the simple start usually is not something that most companies i, I think are going to be able to to move forward with most people like they say here most popular would be the plus here and then if you needed the advanced options then of course you go to advanced we're going to be looking at the plus option also know it's a little tricky to think about this free trial thing and down here because they really they're trying to give you an, an option i this is how i interpret their their marketing <laughs> between a lower you know monthly price for a, for its time period versus basically the free month trial so what we're going to do is we're going to be clicking this over here and we want to use the free trial month here that's going to be our option and and that'll allow us to go through a practice problem so if you want to use the practice problem you might want to use the free trial work through our practice problem if you're thinking about using this for for quickbooks um this quickbooks version for for your company or your not-for-profit organization and then possibly set it up again you know and set up your your company file for the the actual uh company with with basically this option which might be the cheaper option to go or talk to your accountant about the cheapest option to set up but the free trial great tool to practice with and there's going to be tools that we really need you know practice with on, on the not-for-profit because uh we're using some functions that some people might not be as used to in order to track in order to work the not-for-profit so if we take a quick look at, at what we have down below we've got the multiple users so notice here in the simple you only have one you've got five for the for the plus that's actually a big component and that's a big differentiating factor between some of the major softwares and whatnot so then we have 25 for the advanced so that's one of the things that you might need to go to advance for if it's a, if that's something you need more of and then and then but five is usually pretty good for most organ you know and generally you can add an accountant as in addition to that so going on we've got the uh, track income and expenses maximize tax deductions invoice and accept payment op payments we have the 1099 and then that's where the simple start ends here then we have the managed bills the track time and the track project prop uh, profitability this is something we may need in our not-for-profit so that's something that we're going to need the plus version for here track inventory is something that you would have on the plus option and then these are going to be items for the advanced option so we're going to be here in the plus option we're going to be needing that for our practice file remember you want to click this to the right if you want to follow along with the practice problem and start from basically a, a fresh file and put in the data data with us in a, in a practice fashion for it without you know uh, using your own company file and mixing up mixing up the data you want to just practice with the practice file and test it out here so then we're going to enter our data for the for the for the information that's going to be the email the mobile number and password now once you sign up you'll get this box typically which you want to be down here continue with the trial because that's the free version but they're trying to get you to go for the other options which which could be good if you were having this for the for the long term here so let's skip the trial and save today so they want you to skip the trial and save today we're going to go to the trial down here but their option is buy now and save 50% for your first three months. So that would be the option here. Again, we want to go to the free trial. So we're going to continue to the free trial.
Then it says, tell us about your business. Everyone needs uh, something a little different from QuickBooks. So let's get to know what, what you need uh, so we can tailor things to fit you. You can change your information set in the settings later. So basically, we're going to set up our, our name and basic information to set up the file. We can then change it if we go to the settings and we want to change it in the future. So I'm going to say this is going to be not for profit company. So that's a, obviously a generic name. If you want to follow along, we're having a generic name for our not for profit. How would you describe the business and what it does? I'm just going to say not for profit uh, business or I'm gonna select the religion, uh, culture, and not-for-profit. So if you select the drop-down right here. Now that's gonna be important because QuickBooks will basically help you out to set up the, the basic chart of accounts and whatnot. So we wanna make sure that we're picking the not-for-profit selection there, and that'll allow QuickBooks to give us some of those default settings for us. So I've been using QuickBooks Desktop and want to bring in my data. No, we're gonna start from scratch. We're gonna enter this information from scratch but if you do have a desktop version and want to bring in the data from it that's one option for you then we're going to say next what would you like uh, to do in quickbooks this is just to get started and so i'm just going to select all of these i'm just going to pick them all off I'm, I'm not i do not think they're going to change anything but i like to pick them all off here and then go to the next we can always change options and settings within our settings options within quickbooks what's your role at your business so we can pick our role here we can have an accountant or employee or so on and so forth. I'm going to go ahead and say the accountant and then we'll scroll down. Great. Uh, don't forget to add yourself in the accountant tab to access your client books. And then we're going to say all set. So we'll say all set. Next, we have our welcome page. Welcome, not for profit company. Uh, this 30 second tour will help you get get down to business in QuickBooks. So we can go. So let's go. And it'll take you through the quick tour where you have the help options up top. So they're going to just point out the, the major components here. Uh, here's a great place to start. Uh, get to the jobs you need to do right away. So I'm going to say, there we go. Now we're in the start. We're in the QuickBooks Online setup. So that's how easy it is to set up here. No credit card information that we put in place. We do have up top. Subscribe now and save 50%. Uh, so this is this ribbon will be up there until unless we were going to go through the purchasing option but we can now practice and use this practice file for our practice company problem setting up the quickbooks file from scratch for a not-for-profit organization which is a great great tool so that's going to be it for now let's get out of here